Hello everyone, I'm Becca Scott and this is How to Play Painter's Corner. We're painting each of the seven monster figures in Horrified Universal Monsters from Ravensburger. And if you want to catch up on more horrified action, you can check out How to Play and Game the Game right here on Geek and & Sundry. And now, let's join Nox Burf as he brings the undead to life with Dracula. Thank you, Becca, for that introduction. Like you said, this week, we've got Dracula. Let's get started. Before we begin painting, it's helpful to do some prep work. We're gonna gather some simple tools and we're gonna use them to clean up the imperfections in the model that can happen during the manufacturing process. We're gonna use an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife to clean off the mold lines. It's fairly common to have these and it's gonna be easy to remove with just a little bit of work. You're also gonna want a hobby file and an emery board. We're gonna use these to smooth out surfaces to create a perfect finish before we begin our priming process. Now that our miniature has been prepped, we're ready to prime. To do so, we're gonna start with a basic black undercoat. Now I'm using an airbrush to do this, but don't be intimidated if you don't have an airbrush. You can do this with an aerosol spray can that you can get from a hobby store or from online. Once you have the black undercoat completed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a white ink, and that white ink is going to be sprayed in one direction over the black undercoat and it's gonna create what's called a zenithal highlight. And what that's gonna do is it's going to simulate light and shadow, depth and nuance on our miniature. With Dracula's base coat, we're gonna be using a thick, rich red. Now this is gonna be a glaze, and that glaze is gonna allow the zenithal highlights to come through. Typical acrylic paint can be very thick and opaque. We wanna create something that's translucent. You can use either water or mixing medium to do this. The first thing that we're gonna wanna do is apply two or three thin coats of the glaze and slowly build up the rich color that we're looking for. With this black clothing, it's going to be much like any other black that we've painted in the past. We're going to need to slowly build up those layers and allow for highlighting of both blue, white, and gray. Now for the cold, clammy flesh of the undead Dracula, we've chosen a slight gray color. When you're painting white, you almost never wanna use pure white. Start out with a darker tone and slowly build up your highlights. And again, as with all faces, take your time, thin down your paint, and be patient. We're now ready to begin the fine details of Dracula. On the back of his cape, you'll notice that there's a great amount of detail. All of those folds can be followed along using edge highlighting and wet blending to create separation and contrast. The important part here is to mix in some gray with the black so that you're creating a contrasting color that's going to keep the black from being just flat and dull. We're not allowing any of the layers to dry here, and we're looking specifically towards the edges of the cape. As it begins to get to the edge, we're gonna go brighter and brighter with our highlights, closer to the pure gray. Moving on from that, we're gonna paint the glowing red eyes. Now, I didn't paint this as I would with a normal set of eyes. I've actually used a thin down glaze, and I'm washing this across the stark white of the face to create the glow. Finally, we're painting the highlights of the face. And to do this, we're gonna use a layering technique, mixing in more and more white paint into our original gray. This is gonna create a ceramic type porcelain skin. Once it's done, Dracula is gonna be ready for the gaming table. And that is Dracula, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, we'll be painting the rest of these monsters right here on Geek and & Sundry. And if you want to see some other Universal Monsters in action, tune in to Game the Game, coming to you on October 3rd. And be sure to check out Horrified Universal Monsters, available now at Amazon, Target, Barnes & Noble, and your local hobby store. I'm Knox Burr, and I'll see you next time.